Hi everyone, uh, you may remember uh, towards the end of last year I shared a video of um, one of the uh, livery sample victories with a, just a generic sound file fitted um, and obviously since then we've shared some of the improvements we've made to the final production models in terms of the speaker enclosure. Um, we've, I've now got the, uh, the production, the last production sample if you like, um, fitted with the final sound file. So I thought you'd all want to hear what it sounds like and, and see some of the features we've built in um, with Paul, Paul Chatter, who's, uh, who's put it together for us. <laughs> I'm really excited. Uh, I've had a play with it already uh, and it's, well, you know, obviously I'm going to say it's superb, but I'll leave that judgment up to you. Um, but uh, let's go to, uh, to the layout and have a look. Not the British layout, though. Uh, that's only DC. We'll head across behind me, the other, well, behind you, uh, the other side to the Canadian layout. Uh, so, see you there. I mean, the most obvious difference you're going to see is that now, obviously, the chuffs match the wheel revolution. But, but under the under the covers, if you like, there's been uh, a total overhaul of the sound file. Um, and what we've got is a very customizable sound, but also one that works straight out of the box. Um, there's basically three running modes. Um, as it comes out of the box, as you put it on the layout, you're in heavy train road. So you're getting a full barking exhaust um, and, a, and a slow rate of acceleration and deceleration as if responding to pulling a heavy train. Um, and what you'll see is you'll get the sort of chuffing as you're accelerating, as the loco gets to the speed you've set, the chuff will decrease slightly, cut off slightly, it'll coast almost. And then, um, you know, after a time that that chuff will return. And the same happens if you then just decrease your speed notch by one, you'll hear the chuffing cut out, uh, as, as you'd imagine in a real loco. Um, by switching into, uh, by using what's called the reverser control, which is on function F5, you can get to effectively to cut off, which is like half gear. So the volume of the chuffs is reduced and I'll demonstrate that shortly as well. And then in addition to that, you actually have a light engine mode which changes the uh, rate of acceleration and deceleration, so the engine responds much more quickly. Uh, the other exciting thing is that uh, you can use um, function two as a brake. And so uh, by using that, you can um, control how the, how the model slows down. So effectively, if you have, are running on, you know, on standard full right, heavy train mode and you've got a heavy train, you can reduce your, um, you know, your speed control input to zero, but the train will just keep going and going and going as the deceleration ramps down. If you want to slow down quicker or if you want to dab the brakes, you say you're approaching a signal or what have you, you can use function two uh, to, to slow it down and to bring it down to a stop. Of course, you can play with uh, volumes and individual sort of set different types of whistle and things. Um, but we've also got flange squeal. Um, we've got the sounds of coupling, snatching, buffering uh, and a number of other things. Um, We've also got a functioning handbrake, so if you put the handbrake on, the model won't respond. Uh, it won't move as if you know you have actually braked it. So, without further ado, uh, let's uh, let's push function one and bring the sound on. You're only hearing this through uh, through an iPhone microphone, which, although Apple say is probably studio quality sound, you know, obviously it'd be a lot better if we, uh, if you were here in the room with me. So there's a number of random sounds as well, uh, things like um, coal shoveling. So you'll hear on occasion the engine just sort of it'll sit here like this, but occasionally it'll just you'll get a random noise coming in. Okay. Um, there we go. <laughs> so uh, a couple of different whistles. Um, you've got a single whistle, um, which if you hold down. Uh, that's it's just a short whistle, <laughs> um, and then we've obviously got um, you know a a peep peep. That's on function four, okay. Uh, function six is is the coal being shoveled, okay. And function seven. Is the injector function eight? Is the blower uh, 
Uh, and what have we got here? We've got um, function 10, which is uh, a dispatch whistle. Um, and then function 11 is the functional handbrake. We've got function 12, ah, which we won't hear because it's um, detonators. And um, we've got a vacuum ejector. If you have the uh, vacuum brakes fitted. We've also got the sound of buffering up. Uh, cylinder drains. Coupling. Um, function 17, as I said, engages the light engine mode. Um, you've also got automatic wagon snatch snatching sounds. Uh, and other things. Function 20, uh, safety valves. Let's have a listen. So there you go. I think that's a demonstration of most of the ones I can do statically. And some of those alter depending if you're moving as well. So let's uh, let's get her underway. Uh, I'm going to uh, take her backwards first. This is in standard mode. With a loud check. If I take it down to zero, that's on zero now and it's still running. If I push function two, it brings her to a stop with the brake. That's the noise you get when you change direction, the reverse of being thrown over. Now going forwards. It's worth noting that if you leave the, uh, the steam brake on, um, the locomotive won't restart. You hear the rods clanking. Okay, so if I now switch over to cutoff mode, which is function five, and you can see the difference. Much softer chuff.
Okay. Uh, if I now switch in um, the light engine mode, it'll be difficult to show you this because it's more to do with the, uh, the control on that I have uh, in my hand. But uh, but obviously this then cuts down the the momentum. You get basically a much quicker response. Barely needing the brake. So there you have it. Uh, we're really pleased with the sound. Thanks to Paul. He's done a fantastic job with it. Uh, and we really, really cannot wait to uh, to get these models into your hands. So if you haven't uh, pre-ordered already, uh, you're still able to pre-order. Um, we've got uh, availability of all colours at present, although some are reaching a sort of critical level. Um, so get those orders in now. Uh, full information on the website, planetindustrials.co.uk. Uh, and uh, by all means engage with us on social media let us know what you think uh, and what you're looking forward to about uh, about the model thanks for watching <laughs>